So, so now we gotta pick words. Now I gotta go read through all this shit again. <laughs> it takes me so long. <laughs> Captive. Hurrah. Ooh, pleasure is on her list. Uncanny. I thought hers was She's pain lust. and it wasn't. This is why that I messed up. Uncontrollable. I usually mix it with moisturizer if I do use it, but I don't use it that often because it's like too much effort. <laughs> I pretty much, um, I never but wear I makeup. And if I do ever do, it's always my eyes. Cause I like, I like my eyes. I, I'm a cat eye person. So yeah. I, will say that I, I do that a lot. I like do the I'll little flip. Cat eye. <laughs> yeah. I do a pretty dramatic one. Insight, that's one. The desire is I added it to the list. Oh, is it sweet? I'll just pick yeah. Disoriented. After image, I believe. Yeah. Oh, analysis. If I, can, if I could just read Wraith. Wrath. Wraith. <laughs> nope. nope. It's not Dream. because I thought I thought that fear, pain, and hurt were all her too, and they're not. No, variance is the yeah, new one. Is. Yes. Uh, it is her. What the fuck? Haha. -ha. Yes, it is. Done. All right. <sighs> we made dreams come <laughs> true, guys. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> I'm the last one here again. Aw. Don't worry, I just walked in too. Were you practicing piano again? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you must have a lot of determination. Starting this club and now picking up piano. Well, maybe not determination. <laughs> but I guess passion. Remember that the club wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of you. And I'm super happy that you're all willing to help out for the festival, too. Oh, I can't wait for the festival. Really? It's gonna be great. What? Oh, okay. What's wrong? She just wasn't excited the day before, so... I know, I don't... I don't know. She's got... <laughs> She's got issues. Eh? Weren't you complaining about it just yesterday, Natsuki? Well, yeah. <laughs> I'm not talking about our part of the festival. But it's a whole day of school where we get to play and eat all kinds of delicious food. Mmm, food. You sound a bit like Sayori all of a sudden. Monica, do they usually have fried squid? Ah! Oh no! Ah! <laughs> squid? That's a pretty specific thing to look forward to. Oh, come on. Are you saying you don't like squid? Uh-oh. You of all people. What are you uh, trying to I say? didn't say I don't like it. <laughs> Besides, yeah. what, do you mean, what do you mean by you of all people? <laughs> because it's right in your name. Oh. Monica? Huh? That's not how you say my name at all. <laughs> so that joke makes no sense in translation. I guess not. <laughs> <laughs> uh, never mind. Let's just focus on our own event for now, okay? <laughs> fine, you? fine. Your reactions aren't as fun as Yuri's or Sayori's, anyway. Excuse me? <laughs> Where is Sayori, anyway? Oh, there you are. Oh. Looking down at nothing. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, yeah, I say this, don't I? <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> My bad. I'm, like, reading it and, like, oh, this is sad. <laughs> You're just, like, going <laughs> off on your own, like, oh, it's a story. I know. Uh, Sayori is sitting at a desk in the corner of the room, looking down at nothing. I walk over to her. Hey, Sayori. I wave my hand in front of her face. Eh? You're spacing out again. Uh... <laughs> sorry. Don't mind me. You can go talk to everyone else. Oh. Huh? Is everything alright? Uh, of course. Why wouldn't it be? It just feels like you're a little off. Sorry for assuming things. <laughs> Jeez, you worry way too much about me. I'm fine, see? Uh, Sayori shows a big smile. Don't let me distract you from having fun with everyone. Well, all right. If you say so. You've got depression. Yes, you do. I worriedly gl glance at Sayori before turning back toward everyone else, but the conversation has already dispersed with everyone back to their usual activities. Maybe I should ask Monica if she noticed anything about Sayori recently. Since they've been preparing for the festival, they must be spending a lot of time together. 
I timidly approach Monica, who is shuffling through some papers at her desk. Hey, Kat, what's up? Hey, this may sound a little strange, but have you noticed anything up with Sayori recently? Anything up with her? In what way do you mean? Maybe I'm reading into it a little too much, but she seems to be... She seems a bit downcast today. Oh, you think so? I can't say I've noticed anything about her. Monica peers across the room at Sayori, who is idly dragging a rubber eraser up and down her desk. Maybe there is something on her mind. But I'm surprised I'm the one asking you, Kit Kat. Isn't the last I'm surprised time I'm not the one asking you. <laughs> right? Uh, I'm surprised that we're not making the connection maybe between telling Sayori last we saw her that we would rather walk with Yuri. <laughs> kind of. Isn't that uh, the last thing that happened? Oh. Yeah, maybe that's maybe that's why. I mean that She's like well that could have triggered it, I mean. It could. So basically what you're doing is you're going to love one girl and drive the other one to sadness. Good yeah. job, Kat. Great. Lovely. Good job. It's all your fault. <sighs> it is. <sighs> you certainly know her a lot better than I do. Yeah, but she's never really like this. She's always talked to me about things that bothered her. But this time, when I asked her, she was really dismissive. Sorry, I know it's not your problem. I just wanted to ask if you knew anything, so I'll drop it now. No, no. It's important to me, too. I mean, I'm also friends with her. And I also care about the well-being of my club members, you know? Maybe I'll try talking to her myself. Eh, are you sure about that? She seemed like she wanted to be left alone. Are you sure? No. Maybe she just had a hard time bringing it up with the person of interest. Person it's of interest? It's your fault! My fault! Hello, it is your uh, fault. What do you mean by that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying that maybe the thing on her mind is you, Kit Kat. Awkward. Me? How on earth would you come to that conclusion? Well... I probably shouldn't say too much, but... Sayori talks about you more than anything else, you know? Eh? She's been so much happier ever since you joined the club. It's like an extra light was turned on inside of her. What? No way. Sayori is always like that. She's always been full of sunshine. It's not any different than how she has been. That now, it's not any different now than it always has been. <laughs> You're so funny, Kit Kat. Have you thought that maybe you've always seen her as so cheerful? Because that's just how she is when she's around you. Awkward. It is awkward. It's oh, so I true. said too much. I'm sorry, what do I know anyway? I didn't mean to jump to conclusions, so you should just forget about what I said. I'll try to talk to her, so try not to think about it for now. Girl, master manipulator right here. Yeah, seriously. Oops, did I just let out her secret? <laughs> Oops, I didn't mean any of it. She's All right. Like, I, she's like the soccer mom that like gossips about everybody, but is super nice to their face. I it's just true. like have that feeling. It's totally true. Monica smiles meaningfully. I know she said to forget about it. But I already know that I won't be able to get her words out of my head. Monica stands up from her desk and walks across the room to where Sayori is sitting. I watch her kneel down to Sayori and gently talk to her. But she's keeping her voice so quiet that I can't hear from here. So you can't eavesdrop? I sigh and sit myself down. I know Sayori told me not to worry about her and to have fun with everyone else, but that's impossible to do when she's behaving like this. Exactly how much do I care about her that I'm letting this weigh me down so much? Wow. Now it feels like I'm the one behaving out of the ordinary. But there's nothing I can do besides wait for Monica. Why does it feel like I'm being watched? I glance around the room. Suddenly I notice Yuri peering at me over her book. But she looks away just as quickly with a flustered look on her face. I realize that she won't get get any what? I realize that she won't get anywhere like this. I've never really seen Yuri approach anyone or start a conversation on her own accord. So I, I have no choice but to approach her myself. By now, it's a little easier for me to do that. I stand up from my desk and sit in one next to her own. Huh. 
I didn't mean to bother you or anything. Relax, you didn't even do anything. But I could tell that you wanted to be alone with your thoughts. Alone with my thoughts? How were you even able to tell what I was thinking that I was thinking like that? Well, it's something that I do a lot. So it wasn't hard for me to spot based on your posture and expression. Not that I was staring or anything. <laughs> I didn't do anything creepy like that. In any case, I guess you were right. I'm sorry if I caused you any concern. Don't apologize. Your troubles are only the concern of those who willingly share in that concern. Of course, there are certainly those who find the most comfort in keeping to themselves. But if you would prefer to share what's on your mind, then I would be glad to listen. Ah, uh, it's really not that big of a deal. I was just feeling a little bit uneasy about Sayori. Sayori? Yeah, she seems a little off today. But when I asked her about it, she didn't want to admit it to me. So I can't help but wonder if something happened to her. Oh. That's quite romantic. <laughs> eh? I guess we'll go that way. <laughs> um, <laughs> were, were, okay, weren't you feeding her chocolates before? Yesterday. Like, don't you think that's a little bit more romantic than being like, hey, you're my friend and I care about you? Seriously, though. Sorry. I didn't mean to say something stupid. It's not that. I just didn't want you to misunderstand. Sayori and I have just been friends for a long time. That's all. I see. Hi, Silent Shade. Then perhaps it is unusual for her to be dismissive to you about her feelings. And happy Halloween. Uh, or maybe I'm just reading into it a little too much. Kit Kat. The world is full of meaning, often hidden deep beneath plain sight. And there are many untold mysteries behind every person, no matter how well, no matter how well you might know them. Ah. So you think that there might be something behind it after all? Mm hmm? I think that Sayori is a very complex person. Her mannerisms on the outside don't always match what may be going on inside her head. And she may not always know what she wants. I noticed her strange behavior today, too. And I always feel some concern for her. But in your case, it looked like she was fully occupying your thoughts, wasn't she? Well... I guess that was the case. Sayori... She really means a lot to you, doesn't she? Uh, I, I guess. But you don't need to put it that way. We're just good friends, that's all. Yuri suddenly looks deeply into my eyes. Her expression is gentle and curious. So as if she was searching for something. Embarrassed, I avert my gaze. Sometimes a person's mysteries are untold even to themselves. And you, as someone honest and caring, may uncover feelings you weren't aware were in you. That is, I think that she would be a very fortunate person to have you feel that way about her. Yuri, you're giving me too much credit. I'm a pretty simple guy, so I think I'm pretty good at understanding my own feelings. I'm not nearly as sophisticated as you. Uh, that's not a compliment, is it? It is what it is. Anyway, th that's helpful. Yeah. So I I'm more confident now, I guess. Anyway, as long as we're here, why don't you do? Why don't we do some reading? Well, as long as you're okay with it. <clears throat> yeah. I should be taking my mind off this whole thing anyway. So are you canonly supposed to romance Sayori? Is that um, like... Okay, anyway. Okay, everyone. After some time passes, Monica calls out to the club room. Why don't we share our poems now? I've got poems. Thank you for the bits, Wolf Prince! Shit going down at the festival! It's happening at some point! Before I know it, everything is back to normal. Everyone goes to retrieve their poems, and I do the same. I make eye contact with Monica, and she smiles at me. I wonder what she was talking about with Sayori. Uh, who should I write my poem, or show my poem to first? Should we show Yuri still? Yeah. I just want to commit. We're committing. Let's do it. Dots. Also, we should save, maybe. 
Kit Kat. Your writing has only improved in these last few days. Every poem you've shown me has been nothing short of spectacular. I can really feel the emotions. I'm a little envious, even. I don't think it ever came to me this naturally. <laughs> Yuri, that's the wrong way to put it. They, this never did come naturally to me. But I've been able to improve so much thanks to you. You're really the example I was chasing after. Is that so? Yuri gently smiles to herself. This feeling... I'm so glad I got the chance to share my writing. I never thought it would feel like this. I remember you mentioning that yesterday. I can't believe that you're so good at something and you never even shared it with anyone. It's kind of a shame. Maybe, but it's not like I really had a choice. What do you mean? Well... Yuri smiles sadly. Kit Kat, during lunchtime I eat by myself. Did you know that? It's a great time to find a quiet spot and do some reading. In fact, I always have some books with me. You could say I really enjoy reading. Well, that's one way to put it anyway. But... Books are full of... Books are so full of amazing and inspiring people. People you want to fall in love with. Or people you just know would make a really good friend. Cheerful people who always put a smile on your face. Or deep thinkers and problem solvers who discover the mysteries of life. So when you look at it that way, I'm surrounded by friends every day. You know? And those friends don't laugh at me. They don't tease me for spacing out all the time. They don't make fun of my body type. Um... <laughs> it's because she's and... got big boobs. <laughs> That's her body type, apparently. Yeah. And they don't hate me for acting like a know-it-all. People say that about you? I'm not a know-it-all, Kit Kat. It's the opposite. I don't know anything. I don't know how to talk to people. I don't know how to make people see me as normal. I don't even know how to make myself happy. I have all these feelings. And all I can do with them is read and write. But it wasn't until now that I started sharing it with you. That I really understood what was missing all this time. But I haven't really done anything. No, that's wrong. Just being patient and respectful, that's really important to me. I know I'm a difficult person, Kit Kat. I speak too slowly. I second guess myself all the time. I read too deeply into things. But every time, you've always treated me just like anyone else. It's so rare that I feel comfortable with myself when I talk to others. But that's why every time I talk to you, I just feel really happy. I see. Well, I treat you how you deserve to be treated, Yuri. And if other people don't see it that way, then screw them. I mean, I joined this club hoping I would make friends. And I would say I've had at least one success. Wouldn't you? Um, if you put it that way, yeah. We really are friends now, aren't we? Yuri puts her head in her hands. But this time, she's smiling as she does it. Do you want to show me your poem? Yeah, I do. Let me get it for you. Duh. Also, Shy Guy came in in the middle of that deep moment and was like really quiet and just kissed me on the head and walked out. He just starts crying. I know. Happy Halloween, honey! Ghost Under the Light Part 2. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow. Bathing, in the distance, a blue-green light flickers. A lone figure crosses its path, a silhouette ob obstructing the eerie glow. My heart pounds. The silhouette grows. Closer. Closer. I open my umbrella, casting a shadow to shield me from visibility. But I am too late. He steps into the streetlight. I gasp and drop my umbrella. The light flickers. My heart pounds. He raises his arm. Time stops. The only indication of movement is the ember light flickering against his outstretched arm. The flickering light is, is in rhythm with the pounding of my heart, teasing me for succumbing to this forbidden emotion. 
Have you ever heard of a ghost feeling warmth before? Giving up on understanding, I laugh. Understanding is overrated. I touch his hand, the flickering stops. Ghosts are blue-green, my heart is amber. Hashtag deep. Thanks. It's basically love, isn't it? Or do you think I it's... Think... Um, am I wrong again? I... No, I think she is talking about love, but it kind of sounds like an unrequited love because she's talking about a ghost. That's true. So either the person is dead or it's just she feels like the love is unrequited, which would make sense because that's one of her words, isn't it? That, I think so. I, I think I just selected no, that. No, actually, actually, it's not. Well, it's oh. not on our list. It could be one of our words, but it's it not could on our list. Yeah. Finishing the poem, I start to hand it back to Yuri. But instead of taking it from me, she looks away. Do you dislike it? Uh, no, of course not. I just don't really know how I should respond. Despite Yuri's poems usually being cryptic, it wasn't hard to figure out what this one was about. I don't know if I'll be able to explain this one. That's fine. I understand this one. <laughs> Yuri is having an even harder time speaking than usual. Does this one mean a lot to you? Yuri nods. I'm not really good with words, but I'm happy that you shared it with me. So thank you. And I hope we keep spending time together. Despite my inability to make eye contact, I see a faint smile emerge on Yuri's lips. I once again try to hand the poem back to her, but instead Yuri gently takes my hand and pushes them back toward me. I hesitate in response to her warm touch. You can... Uh, the poem is... Once again, Yuri falls to... Fails? <laughs> falls. Yuri fails to con... God damn it. <laughs> Once again, Yuri fails to form a complete sentence. You mean I can keep it? Yuri nods. I'd love to. Again, Yuri faintly smiles, as if she doesn't want me to notice. You always... You always make me feel nice. I know I'm not good with people, but I hope that I can return the favor sometimes. Yeah. Don't worry. I think you do a good job. Yuri finally turns back toward me. I guess we should move on before Monica says something. But I'm sure we can talk again later. Yeah. I'm sure we will. With that, Yuri timidly smiles at me, and I return to my seat so I can put her poem away. Hi, Smoot! Uh, uh, we go to next. I think we did Monica next, right? Uh, I oh, think yes. so. I think so, and then Sayori and then Natsuki. Yeah. We'll just like keep going in that order then. Okay. Monica. Hi, <laughs> Have you thought about what you want to submit to perform at the festival? Well, being in this club is one thing, but performing in front of a bunch of people. I'll have to give it some more thought. Okay, no pressure. But whatever you do, I'm sure it'll turn out great. It would also make me happy to see. <laughs> anyway, let's take a look at today's poem. Sure. I let Monica take the poem I'm holding in my hands. Your style's gotten so refined, Kit Kat. Yuri's been teaching you a lot of things, hasn't she? It's been three days. In and off the page. Uh, well, I guess so. Yeah, I've been noticing how much time you spend with her. See, she's like in everybody's business. Yeah, she is. I don't trust her. I don't trust her. Don't do it. Don't do it. I think I've heard her say more words these past couple days than she's talked in the whole year. <laughs> I'm not sure how you did it, but that's pretty impressive. Well, she just needs some patience and a way to talk about all the things in her head, I guess. I'm still getting the hang of it myself. Hmm. You're certainly putting in a lot of effort. You must really like her. Eh? That's... <laughs> it's awfully suspicious, you know. Like you? Spending time... <laughs> right? Spending time with her in the club room every day. Reading that edgy novel with her. Mm -mm -mm. Edgy. <laughs> well... <Edge -lord. laughs> I just feel bad that she has a hard time socializing. It makes me want to make sure she doesn't spend all her time alone. Besides, the novel isn't too bad either, you know. All right, all right. I get you. 
Just be careful, all right? I know that Yuri isn't used to opening herself up, so if something bad happens while she's vulnerable, then it could be really hard for her. Mm. Her, her books aren't a total re escape from reality. They're just a bandage. Damn. Dear God. Like, what does she know? She right? Knows. How does she know it if Yuri never talks? Exactly. You She's say that like I'm going to hurt her. Foreshadowing. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean that. If anything, she might accidentally hurt herself. That's foreshadowing. Anyway, I'll share my poem with you now, alright? Let's just drop that bomb and then you'll be like, okay, uh, let's share my poem! <laughs> exactly. Er, <laughs> alright. The lady who knows everything. Okay. <laughs> like, come on. Come on. Right. Amazing. A plus. <laughs> right. An old, an old tale tells of a lady who wanders earth, the lady who knows everything, a beautiful lady who has found every answer, all meaning, all purpose, and all that was ever sought. And here I am, a feather, lost adrift the sky, victim of the currents of the wind. Day after day I search, I search with little hope, knowing legends don't exist. But when all else has failed me, when all others have turned away, the legend is all that remains, the last dim star glimmering in the twilight sky. Until one day the wind ceases to blow, I fall. And I fall and fall and fall even more, gentle as a feather, a dry quill, expressionless. But a hand catches me between the thumb and forefinger, the hand of a beautiful lady. I look at her eyes and find no end to her gaze. The lady who knows everything knows what I am thinking, before I can speak, she responds in a hollow voice. I have found every answer, all of which amounts to nothing. There is no meaning, there is no purpose, and we seek only the impossible. I am not your legend. Your legend does not exist. And with a breath, she blows me back afloat, and I pick up a gust of wind. <laughs> Hashtag deep. Okay, Monica's meta AF. <laughs> <laughs> I know all things. <laughs> you know... I feel like learning and looking for answers are the sorts of things that give life meaning. Not to get too philosophical or anything. But it was kind of on my mind, so that's what I wrote about. I see. I never really put much thought into it. In a way, it's almost paradoxical. Because if we had all the answers, wouldn't the world start to lose its meaning? You know, there's one thing I noticed. Seems like everyone in the club prefers writing about things that are more sad than happy. Are you surprised? I mean, if everything was okay, we wouldn't really have anything to write about, would we? Humans aren't two-dimensional creatures. I think you'd know that better than anyone. You mean, one-dimensional? Ah, uh, yeah, that. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Are you ever too shy to share your writing because you're afraid it's not that good? Well, it sucks. No. <laughs> Yes. It can be really disheartening to get a lukewarm response to something you put so much time into. But if you find other people who enjoy writing, then sharing becomes a lot easier. Because instead of just telling you that your writing is good or okay or bad, they'll want to focus more on everything that went into it and the things you can work on. That's not true. <laughs> In the workshops I've done. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I can say from experience. <laughs> it's much more encouraging that way, and it will make you want to continue improving. It's almost like having your own little literature club, don't you think? Uh -huh. well, that's my advice for today. We, we do have a literature club. Thanks Aye. for listening. <laughs> well, that was a great conversation. All right. Uh, uh, Sayori. Uh, Sayori. Yeah. Oh, no. Hmm. It's nice, I guess. Come on. I can already tell you you don't like it. I can already tell you don't like it. Well... You don't need to worry about what I think. After all, you wrote this for someone else, didn't you? Probably Yuri. Awkward. Eh? I didn't write this for anyone specifically. Yeah, Maybe. That's not really what I meant, though. But it's okay. You're making new friends, just like I was hoping. That makes me really happy. And you're happy too, right? In this club? In a club. In the club. Well, of course I am. Good. That's all that matters to me. Thank you, Kit Kat. Sayori, is there something wrong? 
Huh? No, nothing. I'm just a little tired today. <laughs> Alright. Just tell me if you need anything. I will. Don't worry about me, okay? You can go play with everyone else now. If you insist, you can play with everyone else. Yay! Shady. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go home a little bit early today. Oh no. Sayori? Tell Monica I wasn't feeling well, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. Oh no. Before I can say anything, Sayori cheerfully walks out of the classroom humming to herself. I don't think we're gonna see Sayori again. Oh my god! I have this feeling! <laughs> Uh, hi, Monica. Uh, wow. Natsuki. Meanwhile, I'm Kat afraid. Just goes there. I'm afraid. Yeah, no thanks. Eh, you didn't even. Next. <sighs> we just got nexted. Oh. Okay, you three. I love how she doesn't. She's just like, whatever, Sayori left. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna care about her, even though you pointed out that she obviously wasn't okay and then went home sick. Right. Sick, quote unquote. We're all done sharing poems, right? Why don't we start figuring out... Hold on a second. Is it just me or did you say... Or did you say something strange just now? Did she? Eh? Huh? Oh yeah, she said three and there's four of us. Because of you. No, there's three because Sayori went home. But there's also you. She Kit -Kat. said you three. Oh, she said you three? I, I thought, thought she, she did. I, I thought she said us three. I'm okay. most likely going to have read that wrong, so... Uh, I, it might have been me, too. Uh, Something that sounded a bit unusual. That's right. You deviated from your usual catchphrase when addressing the club. Huh. Catchphrase? I don't have a catchphrase. Jeez. Why is the mood so weird today? Look, even Yuri isn't immune to it. <laughs> Dagnating air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. In your books, maybe. Wow, you got real <laughs> sassy with Yuri just then. <laughs> yeah, apparently. You're hurting my feelings. She's, it was your all italicized and everything. It was. Look, the only thing different is that Sayori isn't here. Uh, it seems you're right. <sighs> Sayori always helps lighten the mood a little bit, doesn't she? It's almost like everyone's balance is thrown off a little when she's not around. Where the heck did she run off to anyway? I thought she just went to pee. <laughs> nope. Natsuki, please show some decency. Oh, come on. Ah, she actually wasn't feeling too well and went home early. Is that so? I hope she's all right. Seriously? Of all the times to not go home with her, you pick the time she's not feeling well. So much for you two being all lovey-dovey. Uh, no. First of all, stop misunderstanding my friendship with Sayori. And second, she kind of, she's kind of been avoiding me today, so I didn't want to force it. Oh? Hi, Fighting Fox. No, I know. That curious expression coming from Yuri of all people? What? Is that being said? I, I, I don't know if that was a mistake or not, because it was, it looked like more of a thought. Yeah. Than, I, I don't know. Calm down, guys. I talked to her earlier and everything is fine. What did she say? Anyway, we need to figure out the rest <laughs> of the festival preparations, so... Ah, <laughs> oh, fucker! Let's oh decide what everyone will be doing this weekend. I already know what I'm doing. That's right. Natsuki will be making cupcakes. Cupcakes. Drugs. 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 But we might need a lot of them, and different flavors. Different flavored drugs? Can you handle that all by yourself, Natsuki? <laughs> that should be its, like, jingle. <laughs> exactly. Oh my God. Challenge accepted. And as for myself, I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Siori will be helping me design them. If she ever returns! Seriously, though? And as for Yuri... You get nothing. Yuri, you can, uh, guys, can you help me come up with something for Yuri? I, I'm useless. No, that's yeah. not it at all. 
you're the most talented person here, you know. It's true. But... Now Natsuki's pouting too. <sighs> Jeez, even I can tell now. I guess I never gave Sayori enough credit, but I can tell things are even harder on you when she's not around. Uh, that may be the case. But if I can't be a leader on my own, then I won't grow as a person. <laughs> Who says that? So, Yuri, you have beautiful handwriting, you know? So you should make some banners and decorations to help set the atmosphere. Atmosphere? Uh, about that. I... I love atmosphere. <laughs> <laughs> she just got really determined there. Yuri's expression suddenly changes as she stares at her desk in focus and starts nodding to herself. Your mind is already racing, I see. That's great. You'll be a wonderful help, Yuri. She went from having no purpose to, like, all the purpose in the world. <laughs> all the purpose. <laughs> but anyway, that just leaves you, Kit Kat. The one who is truly useless. Damn. Oh, don't say that. In fact, both Natsuki and Yuri have some pretty heavy tasks to handle. It would probably go a long way to give one of them a hand. Really? You could always help me out as well. Oh, we get to pick who we want to help, probably. Yep. I would be really appreciative of that. <laughs> uh, that's... She is Monica suggesting I spend the wants weekend? The she yeah. wants the D. She yeah, wants she the D. She wants the D. Yeah, she does. <laughs> uh, is Monica suggesting I spend the weekend with one of my club members? I just clicked off the game. Well, how on earth are they going well, to? How on earth are they going to respond to suggestion, <laughs> suggestion like that? Uh, I suppose I wouldn't mind a bit of help. Well, even if you don't know how to bake, there's always some dirty work I could give to you. It's not like Monica's going to give me a choice, and you shouldn't be sitting on your butt anyway. Natsuki tries to mumble a bunch of excuses like that. She likes you. She's just trying to be all hardcore. Although I think she's mad at us now because we like Yuri, but... Probably. I am um, crazy. If I recall, Natsuki, you mentioned that you would like to handle the baking on your own. <laughs> she's like, you're not moving in on my man. Yeah. Kit Kat may not like to be around if you only make him out to be a nuisance. So therefore, he may be more suited to assisting with the decorations. Hold on, I never said that. <laughs> How hard could it be to make a few decorations anyway? Sounds more like you're just making excuses for Kit Kat too. What are you saying? It will be extremely meticulous work. And baking isn't? Just what do you think? Guys, guys. <laughs> Let's settle down for a moment. In the end, I think it's up to Kit Kat to decide how he'd like to contribute. Besides, he hasn't really gotten the chance to spend any time with me yet, you know? So I'm sure he's interested in. You literally just said! I'm surprised as well. <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I was just saying though. Jeez. Can't we just settle this already? Yeah, this has been going on for a long time in the game. Yeah. <laughs> Kit Kat, you're okay with this, right? In the end, it's up to you. Uh. Of course. <laughs> Screw you, Monica. <laughs> right? Screw her. Hmm. Seriously, though. Very well. In that case... Everyone looks straight at me. But of course I'm gonna go with... Yuri Yolo. What? Yuri Yolo. Also, hi, Let's Devil Making! Well, I'll probably people. be most useful helping out Yuri. Me? Are you serious? Why would you... Natsuki, I can already tell you're about to say something mean. No, I was just saying. Ugh. So you'll be helping Yuri then, Kit Kat. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> Sacrifices must be made. <laughs> <laughs> Damn! <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, my chat's savage. Yeah, <laughs> savage. <laughs> I'm glad. I have a bad habit of overthinking these sorts of things. So I think your assistance will be very useful. That's great to hear. Natsuki, will you be able to handle the baking yourself? I mean, yeah. I already said it would be fine. Okay, okay. 
Everyone can tell that Natsuki's feeling a little sour. So, when is she not? Right? So, is that everything we need to go over? <clears throat> yeah, that should be about it. Are you guys excited? Well, excited may not be the right word. But I suppose I'm looking forward to it a little bit. Do you feel the same way, Kit Kat? Me? Uh, I guess you could say I'm interested to see how it'll turn out. That's good enough for me. What about you, Natsuki? Natsuki? What? Why is everyone yelling at me? I didn't even do anything! No, that's not what I meant at all. Uh... Yuri anxiously glances between everyone in the room. I'm sorry for this. I don't really know why Kit Kat picked me. Aww. And also, your cupcakes are the best cupcakes I've ever had. <laughs> they go really well with my tea. <laughs> and nothing that I do for the event will compare to that, so... So... I get it, I get it. Kind of surprised, though. Why? Um... Well, I'm the one acting immature. I already know that. But you're trying to cheer me up all of a sudden. I know I'm not very good at it. I'm sorry if I said something bad. Happy Halloween! Uh, Natsuki isn't the only one surprised. Monica and I are also taken aback by Yuri's words. When she already has trouble with words, trying to cheer someone up must be far out of her comfort zone. But I begin to understand. See, she is me. Yuri was trying to sound like Sayori. Aww. Even if it didn't work perfectly, I can tell that she tried to say something Sayori would say at a time like this. Because Sayori, Sayori can't say it because she's dead. <laughs> because Sayori always helps everyone smile and feel good about themselves. If Kat cries, you should give her a bunch of bits. I'm just saying. Oh my god. I'll, I'll smear all the makeup and blood. <laughs> yeah, exactly. 100 bits for every every tear. Yeah. <laughs> That's what her tears are worth on the black market. The tiny bit of makeup I have. <laughs> no. I kind of appreciated it. I'm sorry for making a big deal out of nothing. But I'm going to say this. Okay. You better bet that my cupcakes are going to be the best part of the whole event. I don't uh, doubt her. I believe you. Yeah. I hope to see everyone do their best. But with that, there's nothing more for today. So I guess it's time for us to head out. Alright, let's get out of here then. Everyone packs up their things. I start to follow Monica and Natsuki out the door as they chat between each other. Um... Eh? I turn around. Sorry. I realize that I don't have any way of contacting you this weekend. Oh, you're right. I can't believe that slipped my mind. Should I give you my phone number? I think that would be the best way, yes. All right, then. Yuri and I exchange phone numbers. Okay. Then I'll be stopping by your house on Sunday. Eh? My house? Is that a problem? N no, not at all. I just thought I would be the one going to your house, since I'm the one helping you. Uh, I suppose that makes sense. But if you don't mind, I think I would prefer going to your house. All right. In that case, it won't be a problem. I decide not to press Yuri for a reason. Maybe she has the abusive parents. Right? It's not like it should matter that much either way. So I just need to make sure my room is clean. I hope I manage to make myself useful in some way. I'm not nearly as creative as you are. Don't underestimate yourself, Kit Kat. I think that we'll make a very productive team. Even if you only chose me because you felt bad or something. Wow. Wait, did she forget you feeding her chocolate? Right? I mean, like, that was... <laughs> that was intimate that was... AF, bitch. Yeah. Oh, uh, you don't actually think that, do you? I don't know. It's difficult to come up with any other reason you may have chosen me. You're forgetting the one reason with... You're forgetting the one reason with the most common sense. I chose to help you because that's what I want to do. But... Yuri thinks to herself, with an extremely tense expression. Yuri, you're overthinking this. You wanted me to point out- Huh? 
I said thanks for the host. Hey! Sorry. <laughs> no, it's fine. Uh, you wanted me to point out when you're overthinking, right? Uh, I didn't realize. I'm telling you, I want to. That's all there is to it. Do you believe me? I... I... Yuri thinks really hard again. She looks straight into my eyes for a long while. I believe you. As if it took her tremendous effort, Yuri finally says that and relaxes her expression. And I'm really looking forward to Sunday. Yeah. I am too. After that exchange, I make my way out the door and Yuri follows. I can't believe this. Yuri is going to be coming to my house on Sunday? My anxiety shoots through the roof. Even though I've gotten pretty used to handling her at this point, there's no telling what might end up happening if we're outside of school. More than that, she told me that she was looking forward to it. Is this the chance I have to make something between us ha make something happen between us? Or is it too early for that? Only time will tell. But until then, I won't be able to take my mind off of it. I seriously can't wait. And then depressing shit. 